What is up you guys, it is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video. Today guys, we're going to be talking about Worlds Adrift, um, what I want it to be, what it is right now, what it could become in the future because there are a lot of future things. And by the way, is it worth it in 2019? We're going to get to that here in a second. So in this game, if you guys don't already know what it is, which I know you, you probably know what it is because you're coming across this video and I don't really have a huge channel, you know, but it's a sandbox game. I'm going to read it right off the website with full real-time physics crafting and survival elements set in an online open world that is permanently changed by every player's actions there are no preset uh, quests or towns NPCs or final bosses everything is influenced and moved by the players themselves players will construct their own sky ships to explore the world which has mysteriously been shattered into floating islands it is entirely up to the players to make their own goals and make their own legacy. So basically the biggest thing in this game that I have found so far, I just recently got back into it. I played it, um, I, I actually got a closed beta key and I did a live stream back in the day, you know, before I did that, that break. And it was pretty fun, you know, but really it takes a crew or it takes friends to be fun. I wouldn't, I well, solo players, you know, you may have fun with this game. But there is this clan called Join or Die, and they literally, it states it in the name, if you don't join them, they're going to repeatedly kill you until you break, or until you log off, or until you get upset. And that's taken a huge hit on the community of this game. They're douchebags. And that's plain and simple what they are. They're douchebags. Uh, just try to steer clear of those guys, and if, uh, if, anyone, if any of them ever like walks up to you, just expect all your stuff to be gone. Because if you don't join, they're going to kill you and take all your stuff. And if you leave, they're going to kill you and take all your stuff. So, let's get right into it. In my definition of Worlds Adrift, it's an open world, air pirate action RPG that is focused on exploration, but a lot now, like I see a lot of PvP now. So, if you guys, are, if you guys enjoy PvP games, um, this is pretty fun. Though the shooting mechanics are, are kind of weird right now. Um, I do I do enjoy it the cannons and stuff like that that you can get on the shifts There's there's so there's a, such a big learning curve to this and especially when you're just starting off Like you may need to find some people to play with you may need to find a crew that you can kind of get started with because It's kind of like really hard to learn at first and there's a lot of stuff that goes into crafting and knowledge and you gain knowledge by doing your knowledge scanner like attaching your knowledge scanner to knowledge uh nodes which are like these circular bronze things that you stick it in there and it gives you 25 knowledge and that's basically how you how you level up your character in the game you can get things like wingsuits different types of weapons you can get wings for your ships you can uh, have engines and a lot of this stuff just comes through playing the game going and searching chests finding schematics and leveling up your character it's not a true level up system but it's kind of a tree based level up system where you have to gain knowledge and then you can buy certain things so if you have a three people crew you can have everyone go into one branch of knowledge so that you guys can truly act as a team and this is heavily based on um, team play because whenever you are flying your ship you could just leave your ship like you could just leave it going in one direction or like if you need to go shoot somebody with your cannon then you can just jump back onto the back of your ship um but it is pretty hard especially alone trying to do combat so definitely try to find some people to play with and if you are a solo player good luck guys good luck charlie I would say the biggest thing in this is probably clans right now and if you do find yourself uh, trying to face off with a clan and you just have a couple of your friends um, good luck Charlie I'm gonna say that a lot because there's a lot of things in uh, implementations that they want to actually do in the future but right now at the state of this of the game that this is in um, you're gonna get griefed and you're gonna get killed and you're gonna lose your stuff and you're gonna get pissed off but you're just gonna have to deal with it there's a PvP and PvE uh, server set or server sets so like if you go into PvE PvP then right off the bat you can get killed but a lot of people I've run into aren't very like oh I'm gonna just shoot you for no reason a lot of them are really nice and they help me with schematics and stuff and they didn't force me to join their clan or anything like that but these join or die fellers man they hate everyone 
Another thing that I will give this game is that they do have active updates. I was looking down at their roadmap and they have a ton of stuff planned out for the future. You can definitely tell this is an early access game and they have a ton of updates that they want to do. Some of those include trading, uh, user created items and stuff like that and the list goes on. If you want to go check out their website you can. I'll put it in the description and then you can actually look at the roadmap for yourself to see if you want to even get this game if you don't already have it. So basically, to sum it all up, this is a sandbox game where you build airships and you float through and you explore items, or you explore islands, and then you there's also PvP and PvE, there's creatures, uh, crafting is probably the biggest thing, so you get to literally make your ship however you want it. I've seen hammerhead ships, I've seen just like spear ships, I, I've seen it all. Um, it's a really fun game, and it's actually gotten a lot better since I played it in the closed beta they definitely have been improving in a, uh, a lot of the aspects of the game I think my favorite thing about the game is that you can have a wingsuit like that is so cool um, yeah I just learned about join or die and I was watching this guy and he was he had a stream going and he was the join or die like one of the join or die big boys and um, he had a glider and he would just like shoot down and then shoot up and then attach his grappler to like people's ships and just jump on their ships you know I just I don't know I thought it was really cool um, join or die is definitely not cool I don't I don't condone so I don't think you guys should join them but if you do then good luck Charlie so I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did go ahead and leave a thumbs up maybe subscribe go follow the Instagram dot com you know at dragonfly Todd by the way um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video if you want me to make more worlds of drift videos then uh, just put it down in the comments below if you guys are planning on get this game getting this game or already have this game then go ahead and join my discord uh talk to me about it maybe we can play together i'll see you guys in the next video peace